Cyclone Herald continues to intensify overnight into the morning hours now. A category one on the Sappho Simpson scale with winds around 75 miles per hour. Currently located at 15.2 south, 51.6 east. Still moving very slowly off the coast of Madagascar, but signs now that it is starting to move in the direction we're expecting. East southeast at four miles per hour, a pressure estimate of 983 millibars. There's your latest dashboard at 7 a.m. Mauritius time this morning. On the CDPS scale, still a stage two, and the risk on that scale has actually gone down slightly. Uh, the rainfall expectations have decreased a little bit, only down to about uh, 25 to 50 millimeters now. But don't uh, be uh, out of the woods just yet on that one, because it could still deviate further south than what we're expecting. More on that in a moment. There's the wind field right now, uh, still around the same as it was yesterday. It's larger and of course now containing some hurricane force winds 88 miles from Antalaha in Madagascar 369 from the capital Antananarivo and 513 from Port Louis Mauritius uh, in Mauritius now a class of one warning has been put into effect and that will probably be increased to a class two later on down the road so far then, here is where we're at right now, uh, Meteo France slightly below, just in the low 70s there, ADT, the satellite estimates to Borac, up at about 90 miles per hour right now, but uh, we're going with 75, JTWC with 80. Well here is the forecast track, we're still calling for it to be a category 3, but it's in between day 1 and 2 on that chart, so just before the 2 day mark we expect a category 3 peak, then down to category 2 again as it passes Mauritius, you can just about see Mauritius there on the southern edge of that cone, this is what we mean here, the centre of the storm could still pass anywhere within that cone, so literally a landfall in Mauritius or even in St Brandon is uh, still possible according to that forecast cone and then rapid weakening after that to a remnant low. GFS currently saying this right now and you can see there it's calling for very little rain on Mauritius but the core of the storm passes very close. Um, it's going to be a rather small storm really as it progresses especially on the southern side, drier side, the northern side will be wetter and much larger as well. You can see the band there extending all the way to Madagascar um, but it really is very close here. A slight deviation to the south on the forecast will give Mauritius not just more more wind, but obviously a lot more rainfall as well, which at times today has delivered 50 millimeters per hour along the coast of Madagascar. Sea surface temperatures will certainly be warm enough to support uh, what is a lot of energy required for the cyclone around 28, 29 degrees Celsius. There it is again then. Uh, just about borderline uh, tropical storm force winds on uh, Mauritius and on Rodrigues there, looking at about 40 miles per hour, 65 kilometers per hour winds that's sustained along the northern, the exposed coasts there. Um, and this is what all of the models are saying for the peak intensity. They've toned it down a little bit, the HWRF even only just a category four now, CTCX only just a category three, JTWC going for 100 and 15 miles per hour. Wind shear I think has trended upwards a little bit, uh, calling for it to start rising on day two now. Sea surface temperatures remaining warm, that's going to be the one that will always be there for the storm. Relative humidity also a little bit of a grey area, um, some dry areas to the south of the storm at the moment. Well here it is right now and it's uh, a very uh, peculiar looking cyclone. Most of the convection is displaced around the edges of the cyclone, the centre of it uh, is somewhat exposed you could say. There's an inner core there which you can see and, a, and trying to develop a, a decent eye that is potentially an eye wall building in there uh, but the biggest convection, the biggest rainfall amounts are on the edges of the storm over Madagascar off to the eastern side as well uh, looking like a storm that's really had trouble with land interaction even though it's never actually made landfall yet. Check out our new look cyclone tracker on the Force 13 website for the latest up-to-date information. You can also find us, of course, on our YouTube channel, search Force 13, and also on Facebook and Twitter, Force 13 at Force 13 on Twitter for the latest updates. You can also help the project become even better by becoming an ultimate fan on YouTube. To see the full list of Ultimate Fan Benefits and to join, visit youtube.com forward slash force13 slash join.
with a special thanks to our top supporters this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show Force 13's colours wherever you go. You can also find a link to our Discord server underneath this video in the description.